Morning. Morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about somebody that I watched play during high school. Um, and that is, and he succumbed. That is Mr. Pete Rose. Mr. Pete Rose, one of baseball's greatest players. And most confounding characters who earned glory as the game's hit king and shame as the gambler and dissembler who died um, at his home on Monday in Las Vegas. He was 83. His death was confirmed by the Cincinnati Reds, his hometown team. And the one with whom he spent most of his career with. The medical examiner's office in Clark County, Nevada, said the cause of death was hypertensive and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease with a significant condition of diabetes mentalis. For millions of baseball fans, Rose will be known mainly for the number 4,256, his total number of hits, the most for any player in the history of the game. But he was deeply, deeply compromised. Yeah, he... Pete, he was he was a compromise champion, okay. Um, and that was you know that's those that's the asterisk by his name. Few sports figures have been the lightning rod for controversy and public opinion that he turned out to be. An athlete who maximized his gifts, earned a legion of fans with his competitive zeal and achieve wide celebrity and acclaim only to fall from grace with astonishing indignity. Had Shakespeare written about baseball, he might well have seized on the case of Rose, whose ascent to the rare field heights of the sport was accompanied by his undistinguished hubris and un that undermined him. A lifelong adrenaline drunkie who often operated out of sheer gall, Rose was long known to have baseball officials as a fevered horse player with a network of unsavory associates and a rumored out-of-control gambling habit. During his non-parallel career as a player, he was warned repeatedly by major league officials to curtail his gambling. So they knew about his gambling. And in the late 80s, Rose, then the Reds manager, was investigated by baseball to determine if any of his activities was illegal. The report by the investigator, whose name was John Dowd, revealed that Rose had bet regularly with book ma um, bookmakers on a variety of sports, including uh, though Rose vehemently denied it, baseball. So, you know, he, he bet it on his own sport. Um, in August 89, he was banned from the game by the commissioner. A Bartlett, uh, A. Bartlett Giamonti, Giamonti, and said he was subsequently declared ineligible for election to the Baseball Hall of Fame, which would otherwise have been a certainty. One of the tall, dry episodes, episodes in baseball history and one of the most public farewell fair. Rose's farewell news conference was televised nationally. The banishment was televised also for Rose monumentally costly. 
Not only did he lose his beloved livelihood, he subsequently spent several months in jail for tax evasion. And that was related to his gambling income as well as his baseball memorabilia sales and autograph appearances. For Giamonte, a former president of Yale who has served as baseball commissioner for only five months, the aftermath was far worse. A heavy smoker, he died at 51 a week after announcing his decision. The stress of the Rose case, they said, probably gave him the heart attack that killed him. Uh, Pete Rose was loved by a lot of folk. He was a gambler. Hoping for reinstatement, the possibility of managing again and restoring his candidacy for the Hall of Fame, perpetrated his life for 13 years, steadfastly claiming against the preponderance of evidence that though he gambled on other sports, he never bet on his own. It was not until 2002 that he admitted to baseball commissioner at the time, Bud Seeley, who my friend worked for here in Milwaukee. Shout out Ernell Lucas, um, former sheriff. The confession was made public two years later in an autobiography. Pete Rose, My Prison Without Bars. I mean, I really felt indifferent about Pete Rose because I liked him. And, um, you know, it went beyond race. It went beyond those things. He was a competitor. And he could hit that damn baseball. So it was, I, I would constantly hear about Pete Rose in the news all the time. Rose, 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 Rose. And this was just for his sheer talent before he got caught up in all that scandal stuff. You know, the possibility of his reinstatement never seemed to vanish entirely. But neither Sidley nor the subsequent commissioner, Rob Manfred, lifted the ban, and Rose lived the remainder of his days under a cloud. Even so, among other honors, he was named to Major League Baseball official all-century team in 1999, and he refused to leave the scene quietly. <laughs> Voluble and vulgar, self-indulgent and self-justifying, Rose never gave up gambling at the track he was perceived by many after the publication of this book um not so much as a contrite pinted as a crash opportunist this is a man who admitted something in a form in a form in which he can make money <laughs> that's that well, he couldn't make any money. He had no choice. He has no remorse, no respect for anything but his next bet. But you guys, he couldn't. Well, that's neither here nor there. He's not here anymore. Rest in peace. It started getting real low down too, and in 2017, Rose's reputation was further tarnished. When an allegation that he had once had sex with a minor came to light in a defamation lawsuit that was filed in Dowd against Dowd, who had led the investigation into Rose Gambling. The lawsuit stemmed from remarks Dowd made, Dowd made on a public radio saying that Rose had had sex with 12 to 14 year old girls. In testimony from that case, an unidentified woman said she had sex with Rose when she was under 16. Rose responded that he had believed that she was 16, the age of consent in Ohio. He never faced any charges related to the underage sex, the statute of limitation having expired. I mean... Pete Rose, Pete Rose, there's a lot, a lot, <laughs> he, he, 
he he was just too much. He was too much. And so he never made it to the Hall of Fame because nobody could ever trust him again. And um, basically, he just left in a, uh, a world of shame. Went to jail and all that. Anyway, how many of y'all remember Pete Rose? <laughs> Somebody, a lot of people probably be saying, who the F is Pete Rose? But if you do know who Pete Rose, put a one down in the uh, comment section if you remember Pete Rose. And just how marvelous of a hitter that he was, actually. Anyway, that's my time. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.